So now that we have these inputs, we want also to add here inputs for the result. So once we do the uh, operation and send back the result, we want to display the result here in an input. Therefore, in our uh, sample here, I'm going to create a new, a new dev here to just display the result. So I'm going to say here dev, and that dev is going to have a class called again a uh, class called raw because we want the uh, we want that to be in a separate raw in a new raw not in the same raw so we want the result to be displayed in a new raw not in the same raw and then what i'm going to do here is that i'm going to just give it uh, some space because we want spa space um, just uh, to add some space between the these two uh, rows so this raw this is the first raw and then the second raw is the for the results so i'm going to say here I'm going to say MT and then hyphen 3 and this is add some space this is going to add some space between this row and the row above it and then inside that div I'm going to here uh, just create do two divs the first div is just going to say it's just going to display uh, the equals uh, signs so I'm going to say here a uh, class and then equals to a uh, column 3 column LG uh, 1 LG1 because I don't want this to take a lot of a lot of space in my screen and then inside that uh, inside that uh, dev I'm gonna also add a new dev that's gonna display the equals sign so I'm gonna say here dev and then equals and then this is gonna take also a a class called text center because I want to center the text inside that dev so I'm gonna say here class and then equals to text center text and then hyphen uh, center and then after that, I need a new dev for the result. So the result is going to be displayed in a new dev. So I'm going to say here, I'm going to say dev. And inside that dev, we want to display the result. So I'm going to say here dev. And then here, I'm going to say class. And then that class is going to uh, have the column LG3. And then inside that, inside, uh, that uh, dev, I'm going to add a new dev to display the result. So the dev here, uh, the dev, uh, the... The result here is going to be displayed in a in an input, so not a div. So here, input, and then that input is just going to uh, say here uh, text because it's just going to display a text. So I'm going to say here type, and then it's going to be equal to uh, text. And by the way, you don't have to display the result in a, an input. You can display it in any other uh, HTML tag. But let's for now try the. Uh, try the input and then we can change it later if we are not satisfied with it. So I'm going to say here a uh, form control and then the placeholder placeholder is just going to say result result and now we have the uh, result. Let me now save and uh, head over back to the browser to show you the uh, how this is going to look like. So let me save and refresh and as you can see we have here an input for the result. Finally we want here a button to let the user click on it and submit the uh, the the form and then we will take care of the operation so I'm gonna say here I'm gonna add here a button so that the user can uh, submit that button so just below remember we have here the two inputs inside that dev we want to uh, display a button so I'm gonna say here I'm gonna create here a new dev and that dev is gonna is gonna have the uh, the button so that dev is gonna first have a class and that class is just going to be like before, just column, and then uh, LG, LG, and then uh, 3. I also wanted to take 3 units of the screen. And then inside that div, I want an input. And that input, input, that input is just going to have a type of submit, because this is a button, submit. And the value, uh, the value is what do you want to display on that button. So I want to display calculate. And then finally, we want uh, also a class to this to add this to add a class to this input. So I'm going to say here class, and that class is just going to be btn btn primary, which is primary, which is an awesome uh, bootstrap class that it's going to just transform this input from a normal input to an awesome button that has an awesome design. Let me save and uh, head on over back to the browser to show you. How this is gonna look like it's just going to lo look amazing let me save and here let me refresh as you can see we have this button it looks amazing so now the user has the first input 
uh, and the second input, the second number, and then the calculate and also the result.